Anyway, that is what it is, Mason. But here we go. According to Deadline, the Acolyte has been cancelled probably. Mm. Now, now people have, have been splitting hairs over this. Well, there's nothing official out of Disney. Yeah. Should cl- clarify that. But this is, I would say, 99% true. No, I know, but I'm saying that, that uh, the, 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 there's been some discourse, as there always is. Oh, yeah. That some series, they say, okay, we made one season and we're not picking it up again for a second season, yeah. which is different from we are cancelling this show. Oh, okay, I, mean? I see what you're saying. And I think yeah. some people who are big Acolyte haters are like, oh, they cancelled it, and other people are saying, well, they just didn't pick it up again and there's a difference there, you know? I mean, I think it's the one and the same at this point. I think it is too, I yeah. think, I know, like, there are people saying that we won, we did a big backlash, mm. and Disney backed down. And don't get me wrong. We you, said this was stale popcorn. Yeah, you, you did a great backlash. My cousin heard it was bad. <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy, I think she quit. I heard that. Yeah, and she's wow. crying. <laughs> I mean, she only quit because she was about to get fired. Do so. you, we're well past the point where people will be like, we got her if Kathleen Kennedy like, No, I don't think now. some people are. It's been... 14 years since she came on board, right? Uh, yeah, I think people, Do you think are, people, are, like, people are still going to consider it a victory. <laughs> if she goes, it, she could put out a statement and say, I am after, I've been doing this for 15 years and of my own free will. I think I've done some great work and here's all my successes and of my own free will, I am retiring and here's my bank balance. Like, yeah. here's a screenshot of my bank balance, all uh-huh. the money I made. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. And people would be like, haha, we got her. Yeah. We defeated her. <laughs> you did too. Yeah. She was scared and she was crying. That's right. Um, to be clear, I'm not crying. It yeah. proves she was crying. Now, look, I, I'm not saying that like audience reaction to things doesn't make a difference because I think if Andor hadn't have been as well received or critically as well received as it did, it probably wouldn't have also got a second season. Mm. Like, but that also the difference between Andor and this is Andor built episode to episode. But didn't Andor also haven't they? It was good. Yeah, it was. It was good, really but good. didn't hadn't they set in motion a second season before? Well, that is true. Also, well, and apparent- also wasn't Andor going to be five seasons? Oh, and then they, and cut, they cut, it cut it down. Yeah, that's so. a good point. I mean, this was also apparently going to move forward. There was talks mm. before it came out that they were in the planning stages of season two Mm -hmm. uh but yeah make no mistake this is a rating situation it got the worst ratings of any star wars live action show that they have done by quite a lot and the first two episodes did like holiday special yeah lower than that wow the first two episodes did okay i think Mm -hmm. and it didn't get better it it dropped off significantly Uh uh-huh so look Oh, look, I'm not. I was talking about this on Friday with some people, some lovely people who I met who came out. Oh yeah, like, you did. I heard you derailed the episode of Confessions. I had to. And if you if you listen to that, it's going to be mostly silence. <laughs> and you're going and another thing, <laughs> another thing about the acolyte. You guys know what the acolyte is. You don't. Well, settle in. Here we go. Let's go. We'll all watch it on my phone. <laughs> Wait, no, we can't because that'll give them one more view. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till like learn how to pirate it. I'm gonna pirate it. Like going into it, I liked the concept of it. I uh-huh. liked the cast. Like this era was an mm-hmm. interesting thing. Like it got away from the Star Wars thing, but I just I didn't like it. I thought the execution was like not good or fun and uh-huh. and muddled in the flashbacks and all of that. So I mean, it sucks that it was it sucks that it was cancelled for those involved. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I've also I don't, I don't want to go into bat. Like <laughs> I don't think you didn't love particularly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like it sucks, but you know whatever. I think <laughs> I, look, I certainly liked it more than I liked say Ahsoka, yeah. which was a piece of cardboard. Mm. Uh, and I think it it looked better. I think it was more interesting. Yeah. It didn't lean heavily onto Skywalker stuff. Yeah. Uh, but clearly that's not. But Anakin Skywalker didn't turn up and go. Here's a flashback. It's true, yeah. And yeah. you love that. Maybe you should have. Yeah. I mean, Sidious or whatever his name was, that guy was going to. Creep in a cave. Yeah, creep in a cave. He, <laughs> who knows what he would, creepy stuff he was getting up to in that cave. Now we'll never know. We'll find that in a comic probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, look, and I'm sure it's disappointing for everybody involved. Sure. And, uh, you know, the thing about it as well is I, we've reached the point as well, I think, where there are certain, pe- certain actors and creatives are not going to want to sign up for a thing with... With yes. Lucasfilm, with Star Wars, with with because they're just gonna be inundated with critique, absolutely, and worse probably, absolutely. You know? So Molly from Star Wars explained. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to find a tweet, but I'm I'm using the search function and I, I type in her name and it doesn't come up. So wow, that's, that's really do you think good. that's a skill issue? <laughs> no, it's or do you think it's a bad it's a website issue? Okay, she said something on the lines that I don't have in front of me, um, where it was like it's gonna be hard to get invested in things. Yeah. Because, like, even if you like a thing or you're looking forward to a thing, it kind of kills the vibe of, yeah. you know, and your enthusiasm when you're like, well, why should I bother with any of this? And, and, that, and that's the thing as well because 
Sometimes shows build also. Sometimes you know, shows do build. I mean, there's plenty of shows that, you know, a lot of classics. And that's the reason that people often, you know, when, when a classic series makes it to Netflix or another streaming service, it becomes, the, you know, one of the most watched shows because people go, oh, it's Breaking Bad has appeared on this yeah. streaming service. It's five seasons and I and it ends in a satisfying manner and I can rewatch the whole thing. I don't have to worry that it's going to do two seasons and I'm really invested in the characters and then they cancel it. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so I mean, in the one hand you know, people creating this sort of sh- stuff should probably say, okay, we're going to have a satisfying season one and it's going to wrap up and if people want more seasons, we'll try that we'll again. From there, but yeah. then I think maybe executives are going to go, well, we can't just do that. We can't just have <laughs> one season and then and then it's end, because then people might drop off. So you're going to have to set this, you know, drop the seeds for a next a next season just just ma- mostly make yeah. mostly make season 1 a teaser for season 2 if you could make the entire show <laughs> a te- of season 1 of a teaser for season 2 and we will cancel it. Absolutely. We're going to cancel it. So there will be no season two. Yeah, yeah. So it'll just be a ghost of a series. <laughs> you know, just, just, just a nothing, shadow. Just a shadow of itself. A whiff. A shadow of nothing. You yeah. know what I mean? Or, you know, I think that... But again, we don't know what these algorithms are. These Disney Plus Netflix algorithms. No you know, what I would like to see is for somebody in a position of decision making to say... We're making a series and it's going to be three seasons guaranteed. Yeah. You watch it or you don't, we're going to make three seasons. And yeah. then maybe it's going to, maybe something like that would build. But I don't think anybody, you know, the, the algorithm, the, the, whatever algorithms they're looking at aren't telling them to do that. No. They're not going to, they're not going to start m- figuring out that sort of damage control means until the, the venture capital money runs out. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I did find that tweet. Oh yeah. Uh, it says the uh, Molly Damon says, follow her on Twitter, uh, her and Alex. Oh, and oh, their YouTube, not Twitter. Yeah. Twitter sucks. Or us. You can I couldn't us. even find her, so well, who knows. Yeah. Uh, the worst part about hearing the Acolyte is cancelled is this will absolutely impact my ability to enjoy any more new projects from Star Wars. I feel like everything I went through while the show was almost for nothing. I don't enjoy being depressed and cynical about this fandom. And yeah, absolutely. It's um, And they're deleting shows off streaming services. Yeah, they are. Uh, one thing I did notice that there was... Somebody pointed out that you can't buy Acolyte merchandise on yeah, the that Star Wars removed. website. Yeah. Like, that's all going. So is the Acolyte another... Is it like Willow? Is it going to be a series they just... Is this going to be the first Star Wars thing to be removed from I Disney Plus? I would be surprised. Oh, well, maybe. If they, if they got rid of it. And the other thing I think is, is this, uh, is this going to send the message to Lucasfilm that people just want stories set five years after Return of the Jedi? Or bef- just before A New Hope, which is like generally where the things that do well kind of sit sure. or people, people enjoy of the newer stuff. Mm-hmm. And I don't really want that. I want to go, I would like to see things in other directions and whatever. Sure. Also, I want Andor. Yeah. And then you can shut it down. Shut it mm-hmm. all down. I've said that before when Obi-Wan came out, but you know, now I mean it. Mm-hmm. This is real this time. Uh, also, apparently Keanu Reeves at one point was up for Soul. As, oh, uh, so part. that's, that's um, uh, his name is... Uh uh, Squid Game. Mani- oh yeah, okay. So not Manny Jacinto's role. But no, the the kind of the uh, the Mr. Squid Game. Ooh, the, yeah, Mr. Squid Game. Mm-hmm. Mm. Skull Squiddy. Squid uh, Squid Lee Jung Jae. There yeah. we go. Yeah. So uh, I think that could have been really interesting, but also I think that's also good for him that he can be in another thing now. That's correct. Yes. <laughs> he can be in a different yeah. Star Wars thing if he wants to mm. as a wise Jedi man. You know, yeah, sure. he does have that kind of. Keanu Reeves kind of hair going on, doesn't he? In that, Keanu uh, Reeves does, yes. Keanu Reeves. And then the other guy, and Mason. The other guy, yeah, mm-hmm, sure. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, so... And it, Carrie Ann Moss. And Carrie Ann Moss, exactly. Put him together, make, him, make him kiss, make what him get married. Make and him in get real married. life, make, <laughs> make him get married. <laughs> yep. Pull that clause from the Matrix. <laughs> where if, <laughs> if they appear at a Star Wars television show, they have, they have to, to get, get married. married. Yeah. And at the time, they're like, oh, what are the odds? <laughs> sure, we'll sign, whatever. Good fun. What good do you fun, think, Keanu? Yeah. yeah, great fun. Huh? Good friends, good fun. Yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. 